right, let's check the uh, check out some of the scenes from the demo video. These guys, some scenes are relatively easy or really easy to make with your shell add-on. Let's go to Blender. Let's say we have this airplane, and after activate with adding the cloud adding the environment cell environment all you need to do is to remove the ground let's click remove desert and now we have our flying object flying midair let's turn up that 360 view sphere And I'll look around if we need to. Uh, and all we only have to do is to add the clouds. And now the clouds are all located above the horizon. And you can um, you can use it the way if, if that's what you want you can do it but you can lower the clouds all the way down by using clouds height from ground slider right there see so you can move the clouds even below the airplane Let's adjust the height of the clouds just the way you want. And the next thing you need to do is to move the cloud, make the clouds uh, look as if they're passing your airplane. So if you see the uh, gizmo up there, that you can see that the clouds need to move in the y direction. Uh, let's, and you can uh, adjust the speed of the clouds in the y direction by adjusting that y slider and the clouds animation controls. By pushing the play button, and if the speed looks all right, that's it. You're done. Now all you need to do is to set up the camera and start rendering it. Okay. Now let's is ready to let's set up the camera. And this is important. Make sure that the clip ends is long enough to reveal the clouds. If that's too short the clouds will not appear in your scene. That's the same with the stars and the moon in the scene as well. So make sure that clip is long enough. Now, that's it. I hope you found the tips and tricks useful and hope to see you in the next tutorial.